Yes, hello everybody. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about resulting trust according to the law of England and Wales. So, um, we all know that when property is uh, transferred from one person to the other, then in the absence of circumstances that show or any facts that show that that property, that chattel, um, was uh, meant to, you know, uh, to be given by the transferor for the benefit of the, um, the transferee then uh, this property should result back to the transfer or uh, through a presumption of a resulting trust which is rebuttable there, there's an absence of uh, facts that show that uh, i wanted to benefit this person by giving him the land uh, there is you know there's an absence of uh, there's an absence of um, of uh, consideration um, that was given to me so that I would have given, I would have transferred the land return, or there's an absence of an intention by me to um, to give that land, then the the land would result to me. That would have happened under normal circumstances, though. So, um, because of that section, you know, uh, let let's assume that you know the transfer and me, the transferee, I'm sorry, and and me, the transferor, we're strangers then a resulting trust simply under those circumstances would not arise. Something more needs to be uh, proved. So, in I wanted to, I wanted to uh, put emphasis um, that I'm not talking about the purchase price resulting trust. That is when I directly purchase land in under somebody else's name who is a stranger. So the presumption of advancement does not arise. Um, that would mean that you know somebody who's not my um, my uh, my son or my daughter or my wife. Um, and um, then because this land has been bought, it's property that has been bought at my expense. Then you know then there is no voluntary conveyance. You know, the conveyance is basically involuntary because it has been given in return for the purchase of the land in somebody else's name. Or when I join some other person who's a stranger again uh, in the purchase of land under his name, then, you know, the, the land will result back to me under the resulting trust um, in the absence of evidence that you know that shows that I want to benefit him or that shows that the land was actually given as consideration for um, something that I had received you know like under a contract for example um, under some arrangement for money that you know was paid to me so um, because of section 60 subsequent 3 of the law of property I 925 no presumption will arise has the presumption effectively been has the presumption been effectively excluded yes in that sense it has and this is because um, you know the presumption cannot arise automatically in, in the in the absence of you know the circumstances that I just described, otherwise it would have just arised. There would have been a presumption. Like there is no presumption in that sense. Therefore, um, I have to prove a resulting trust, and it is possible to prove a resulting trust by proving by uh, through positive evidence, through positive proof that. I, you know, did not intend to benefit the recipient, and that's actually additional facts. For example, in the case of Hobson versus Mark, um, in that case, um, Mrs. Hobson proved that she intended to retain the benefit of the land that she transferred to the transferee. 
and she did because basically she didn't she wanted to protect him because he was going to be turned out by someone else because he was a lodger and he was staying with her so it could be argued that the conveyance under section 53 subsection 1 of the law property act um was um you know could be um was not voluntary it was not voluntary because it was you know it was it was actually given in order to attain um another aim an ulterior motive so it could you know a cons uh, a resulting trust could uh be applied uh in that case since there was no um declaration of trust with regard to the extent of the um of the parties uh of the parties um beneficial ownership and um section uh, 60 sub section 3 was circumvented in that way. Thanks very much for watching. This information is not considered, should not be considered as legal advice under any circumstances. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like that. See ya.